Welcome to this short tutorial video on stock purchase orders. To add a stock purchase order select purchase orders in the left hand panel and click the create stock PO option. The add stock purchase order screen will be displayed. Within this screen select the required stock delivery location using the drop down as being shown now. Please refer to our other videos for details on setting up stock locations in your system if required. Next, select the required supplier you wish to raise the purchase order against. It is possible to add new supplier records whilst staying within this screen by using the icon to the right of the supplier drop-down field as being shown now. Please refer to our other videos for details on setting up suppliers in your system if required. If you need to set an estimated delivery date for the order select the required date within the field as being shown now. If you need to add any tags to the order select the required tag or tags using the drop down field as being shown now. To continue, click the save button. Once the purchase order has been saved you can then click on the items tab to add the stock items you wish to order. Click the Add Item button within the Purchase Order Items screen to open the Add Purchase Order Item window. Update the quantity field as required. If the item you wish to order has been added to your system as an equipment record select the Equipment Radio button as being shown now. Note the default checkbox selection filtering items linked to the selected supplier. If the item you're looking to order has not been linked to the supplier click on the checkbox to remove the filter before using the drop-down fields above. It is possible to add new part or equipment categories or part or equipment records whilst staying within this screen by using the icon to the right of the drop-down fields as being shown now. Please refer to our other videos for details on setting up parts and equipment items in your system if required. Use the drop-down fields to find the required item you wish to add to the order and once selected review the contents of the cost, discount, tax rate, description and nominal code fields, update any information within these fields if required and click the save button to add the item to the order. You will be returned to the purchase order items screen and can click the add item button to add additional items to the order as required. Clicking on the three dots button to the right of an existing item line will enable the deliver and delete buttons as being shown now. Clicking on the description of an existing item line will open the edit purchase order item screen enabling you to edit any details for the selected line. To view, download or email the purchase order template click on the drop down button next to the share button and select the required option. To view existing stock purchase orders click on the All Purchase Orders option in the Purchase Orders section of the left hand panel. You can filter the screen to display just stock purchase orders by selecting Stock, in the PO Types drop down field. Use the search options within this screen to filter the results if required. Click on the PO number to open the purchase order record. To update items as delivered click on the Items tab and click the Deliver All button if everything has been delivered. Alternatively, click the three dots button to the right of the item line and select the Deliver button against the selected line. Once the item has been successfully marked as delivered the in-stock quantity will be updated against the associated stock record. Select Stock and click All Stock Records in the left-hand panel to view this information. Click on the Stock Record number and navigate to the Audits tab to view the Stock Record Audit list. Within this screen you can select the PO Receipt Type using the Type drop-down field to filter the transactions created by delivering stock purchase order items. Within the lines displayed in this screen there's a link to the PO number enabling you to open the stock purchase order record with ease. This concludes the short tutorial video on stock purchase orders. Thanks for watching.